so now this uh, windows server is uh, ready you can see that it's in green and two by two checks are complete if something wrong is there uh, this uh, right tick mark you would not get there instead you will get the error message okay so since you have got the right tick mark that means everything is in green and everything is good to go okay so all we have to do is to connect to this instance so we will click on connect and uh, first things first it asked me to download the remote desktop file now what is that it's a client it's a client software using which I'm gonna access my EC2 instance so I will open it and click on connect it's asking for a password the username is administrator and it's asking for a password so I will say get password and I will have to browse the key pair you remember the key pair that I had downloaded in my uh, downloads folder uh, that was by the name my first kp, KP yeah first kp.pem and I say decrypt the password no this is not the right one so the right right one is my first this is the right one and yeah so it has given me the password I will copy the entire password and I will paste it here in the client and I hit enter so it's gonna launch my new operating system right now Windows operating machine which is the latest one from Microsoft that is Windows 2016 so this is the new operating system uh, you want to check like the partitions that we have so you go in Explorer and uh, in Explorer you go in uh, this PC only has got C drive okay so you let us say you want to have the D drive as well so you go with the uh, disk MGMT uh, disk MGMT uh, yeah but so here if I go to my local computer and type disk MGMT yeah it, it shows here but uh, here if I yeah, on the C. yeah now it's there uh, hmm. disk MGMT uh, disk cleanup uh, okay defragment and optimized drives so only C drive is there and uh, okay that that is basically the concept like uh, uh, we will have to uh, you know do some tweak uh, uh, we will have to go into volumes okay and uh, create a volume uh, so if uh, let us say we want to add 5 GB more okay and uh, create the volume close it and refresh so this is the volume that I have created and I can attach it to the EC2 instance uh, instance A that I have just created attach it so I go into instances and uh, now if I refresh it uh, refresh it again refresh it okay it's uh, now if I go into this MGMT or defragment and optimize drives uh, I, I think I will have to restart the computer so restart the machine I go into restart continue it's restarting right now so the process for restart is I will have to connect it again download the remote desktop file get the password decrypt the password copy the password and again go here and uh, it's working right now okay so it gave me an error so that will add five or that will make a different uh, yeah that will add five like total 35 will be there so connect download the file and get the password so you go here and uh, it's asking for the password right now so you copy the password and you click on ok yes ok now it works fine so the windows is ready I go here this PC only C drive is there and uh, if I go to our uh, disk mgm.msc yeah disk msc but uh, that has changed in uh, that's the clean up uh, just clean the I think the unwanted yeah. so we go here in this 
maybe window commands a uh, window r maybe yeah a uh, window r will open the command prompt so in the command prompt if we run ls blk uh, it does not recognize it uh, df minus h so uh, it does window r I actually uh, <coughs> Yeah, from here, okay, so uh, yeah. this 5 GB, we are going to make it online. It's unallocated right now, so uh, initialize disk, okay, uh, new simple volume. We are going to make it D drive, and that's it. So if I go here, now I have C drive, which is 30 GB, D drive, which is 5 GB, okay. Any questions so far? So if we don't need it, we can always go into volumes and uh, we can go in actions, detach volume. So I'm going to detach the volume so that I do not get build. And now that D drive has gone. Only C drive is there. Okay. So any questions so far? Please let me know. No. So if you don't need anything, just go into actions and uh, terminate it. Otherwise, you never know that uh, Amazon's going to charge you something. So the Amazon charge me dollar, but I mean, the dollar is not the big deal. But if they charge me the $60, that will be the problem. No, no, do not worry about that. It will not charge you that much. You know, even I, like getting something, I mean, new. So I'm learning. I mean, yeah. that's not a bit right. Too. One dollar or four dollar, you know. But if you are okay. if, if you are worried, uh, what you can do is uh, you can check with your bank, and uh, uh, most probably they would, they would have not charged you. Uh, if you are really worried, you can block your card. The uh, I think I can just call bank and I just block the transactions. Right. I mean, four dollar is not not a big deal, you know, for a month. But if they charge me like sixty four dollar or something, hmm. that's my like, that's what I'm paying interest for. Okay, so there is a workaround okay there is a workaround like uh, if you want to save on the cost what do you have to do uh, let us say you want to receive something in your email okay so you can configure an alarm so you go to under your name you go to uh, my account okay and uh, in my account uh, you need you go to uh, you go to preferences okay and in preferences you check mark this option receive pdf invoice and receive billing alerts okay and uh, you click on save preferences so the preferences are getting saved now what you have got to do is manage billing alerts okay uh, you go to manage billing alerts and uh, you create an alarm so you go to billing and you create an alarm so whenever the charges are more than two dollars okay whenever you are billed for two dollars send a notification to my email id that is theeraj.alawadi at gmail.com and uh, uh, that's it create an alarm so it has sent me an email I have received an email I will say confirm subscription and now every time I'm gonna build more than two or uh, two dollars in my account it's gonna shoot me an email okay so that's the best part if you do not want to incur any charges on AWS just enable this uh, alarm all right and this alarm will only be enabled in North Virginia uh, it will be in North Virginia, it will be enabled globally. Okay. So till now, what we have studied is uh, we have talked about global infrastructure, how to choose the regions. I told you cloudping.info, criteria for choosing the right instance type. We have talked about EC2 and EC2 instance. We have talked about EC2 purchasing options. And uh, today we have built one Microsoft instance, which is uh, which is free for 750 hours so I hope everyone will practice this thing that we have done today and tomorrow there is gonna be a class Saturday and Sunday as uh, Rajan mentioned so there is gonna be a class on Saturday and Sunday and uh, 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 we will we will spin up one Linux 
server okay uh, we will build up one linux server and uh, we will add some more volumes because the way the linux works is entirely different from the way uh, microsoft works okay so we will see the difference and uh, we will take it up from there any questions for me till now anyone please let me know yes uh, i would like to ask you something uh, about the you know the instances okay mm -hmm. uh, i have been running the vm from the since uh, 12 days ago right mm -hmm. uh, right now i have just like uh, just 200 uh, hours left so once i meet like a uh, 740 hours right uh, what should i do i uh, do i need to terminate or the leave like that uh yeah if you uh, like 750 hours are free if you do not want to incur any charges then the best thing is to terminate it uh if something crucial is going around then it's uh, good if uh, it's just running like that you can terminate it right away okay okay so yeah. then i can uh, create new uh instance again right absolutely you can create as many instances as you want so i can use up to uh, 750 hours only for each in instance that's right okay then now i i, I just like left like i said 291 hours only okay but enable that billing alarm, the one that I just showed you two minutes back. Just I did that. that. I did that already. So what I, uh, but when I try to receive the billing report, right? I, I tried to uh, add my email address, but uh, it, it, it is not actually showing the error, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm unable to do that. No, do, just try it one more time. Just watch the video and uh, do it the right way and you will be able to do it. So, okay, I, I just uh, put my email address and I just verify, right? Yes, but before that, there are some settings like... Yeah, I mean, invalid bucket, so invalid bucket. Yeah, you probably you are not saving the changes like uh, uh, the one that I showed you, uh, like uh, go into the account and enable the billing options. You have to do that first. Okay. Yeah, all right. Any more questions? Yeah, Anoop, Ujwal, Mukund, Rajan? Yeah, that so so far okay so uh, we meet again uh, same time tomorrow and uh, we will take it up from there like 10 or 9 9 30 9 30 p.m your time okay that's no. good all right yeah, i think we should take the regular time you know so so whoever gets late they will just watch video and they do review right 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 you know like we don't we yeah we're not, not gonna finish our class on a like you know give on schedule give on time sure i totally agree Okay. All right, everyone, if you do not have any more questions, let's uh, call it a day and uh, we will uh, meet again tomorrow, same time. Thank you, everyone. Right. You have a good day ahead. Thank you.